Howdy y'all, do you know what time it is? It's time to break out my wood burner because I found these awesome wood cutouts at my local dollar store and I just need to get my creative Halloween spooky juices flowing. So this video today is gonna be me doing designs for the cat ornament. I'll do another video for the ghost, but today it's just gonna be the cat. So I hope you enjoy the video. So with each of these cats, I sketched out the idea on them and then I brought out my co-wood wood burner, which is the best wood burner I've ever used. You can adjust your temperature. Um, you can buy a variety of tips and different things for the wood burner and it's, it's just real good to use. It holds its heat and very handy. So here you see me adding texture to the outer edges and that's because I wanted it to look more like fur than it does just as a cutout and then I shaded this one in because I was just gonna do your typical vintage Halloween black cat so I did shading first with my burner and then you'll see me go over it with some blue paint and then whenever I paint these I just do a wash I water down the paint gray more or less I'm staining the wood with paint and the reason why I do this is because you still want to see the wood grain and the burning texture underneath. And then I add glitter because no ornament is complete without some glitter. So my black glitter actually has a bit of black pigment that makes this blue just pop so much more when it dries. And you'll see that at the end of the video along with the other designs. Honestly, when I first came up with this mummy one, I I didn't like it. I just, it felt too easy. But whenever this comes to completion, it's, it's one of my favorite ones. I just love how the purple on top of the burnt fur just brings it out all the more. And purple is a royal color and, you know, Egyptians, royalty. And, yeah, so <laughs> purple and gold was the theme for this one and it's my favorite one I might have a hard time getting rid of this one every Halloween you see skeletons I can't say the word because of the nightmare before Christmas skeleton skellington whatever you know what I mean but this one was a fun one to do. Um, I couldn't do a realistic bone structure, of course. But I did my best with photo references and decided to give the scaredy cat a meal in its tummy. A little, little bit of fish bones there. Um, but yeah, just turned up the cold wood to high and did this one. And then I did a wash of white paint just to make the bones pop a bit more because the fish got lost a little bit in the burning process. Right, the pumpkin. Um, This one is another one I didn't like whenever I sketched it up, but I, you have to do a pumpkin somewhere for Halloween, so... Uh, initially, I still didn't like this one after the burn. I thought it looked very messy, but you'll see that I, I think I save it with the paint by making the cat different than the other cats have done. I made it a calico cat and try to make its mouth stand out by giving it a white muzzle and, you know, black eyes and just wanted it to stand out more but not be the same as all the others. I call this one pumpkin patch. It's cute. Um, I really liked it after the paint, though. The texture with the paint and everything I did with the fur really gave it kind of a cute grunge that I enjoy.
Okay, this last one, I just wanted to do a scene within the cutout, and I love it. I'll have a hard time getting rid of this one, too. But if you notice, I made a cat eye with the tree branch, and I just adore how I did the face. I also adore the little kids I have trick-or-treating up the hill to the haunted house. They turned out much better than I thought they would. Um, but here you'll see me again laying down washes of color just to make the burn stand out more here and there. And then you'll see me add glitter. Um, just because no ornament is complete without glitter. I do wish I had some glow paint or glow glitter for the ghost, but I do not have that. Here they are, boys and girls. Just look at them glisten. <laughs> I cannot do a scary voice, but I tried. Um, these next few shots is just me trying to show off how they glitz and glamour. Um, I tried to do some slow shots. I tried to do different lighting, um, but I love how these turns out. This is my Halloween tree currently. Uh, you'll see it again in the future. Especially with the ghost that is going to be in the next video, more than likely. Um, I like how these guys look in low light, too. Um, the only one that doesn't really still stand out is the black cat, but you can still tell what's going on. Here they are, all lined up. Aren't they beautiful? These will be available in my Etsy store eventually. I might see about getting buttons made of them, Photoshop out the holes, because... I think they look pretty dope. And yes, I know there's one not facing the same direction as all the others. I was too lazy to fix it. Um, and I'm glad it's the skeleton one. He's dorky looking, so he's the doofus facing the wrong direction. Um, you'll notice I added some white paint to a couple of these for whiskers. And that's just because they weren't standing out enough. Anyway, thanks for watching my video. Please like, share, and subscribe. I do giveaways and videos weekly. Next giveaway is at 200 subs, and it'll probably be some merch. Have a good day, and bye-bye.